Happy holidays, random ladies and gents, and welcome to Paleo Rewind 2020. I'm Omega. And I'm Click. This year, we'll be taking a look at some of the most important or interesting scientific discoveries of 2020. From February, anyway. So, where to start? Well, anyone in the mood for turtle soup? The real Blastoids. One of the biggest discoveries for paleontology in February 2020 involved one of the largest turtles to ever live, Stupendemis. This massive freshwater turtle lived in South America 13 to 5 million years ago during the Miocene period. And when I say this turtle was massive, I mean it was a big boy, growing to sizes comparable to that of a car. And as of 2020, holds the record for the largest shell of any turtle to ever live. On February 12, 2020, a paper was published describing the largest Stupendemi shell ever discovered, which was not only larger than any previous specimens of this genus of turtle, but larger than any turtle shell discovered so far, be it living or extinct. Coming in at twice the size of leatherback sea turtles, the largest turtles alive today, and a hundred times larger than Stupendemi's closest living relative, the Amazon River Turtle. This extraordinary find revealed more than just immense size, but also exciting new details regarding the lifestyle of this titanic terrapin. The most astounding being that of the shells of Stupendemi's Geographicus, revealing two different morphs in their shells with one of these morphs sporting a pair of horns pointing towards the front of the shell. Horns that made this turtle reminiscent of a certain Pokemon. Hmm. What's more, the presence of the two morphs suggests possible sexual dimorphism, or a case when males and females possess varying traits unique to their sex, with male stupendemis sporting horns at the front of their shells, and females having a bit more of a standard turtle shell. These horns would have likely been used in intraspecific competition, likely when sparring for mating rights or territorial disputes between rival males. However, just as much as this paper gave new details on the life of these turtles, it also gave details on the dangers that would end their lives, documenting bite marks on the shells left by the gigantic Cayman Purosaurus providing further evidence in support of a predator-prey relationship. All in all, this study provided incredible details regarding new insights into the life of this incredible reptile, be it its blastoise-esque appearance or its place in the ecosystem. Now, if only it could have learned hydro pump. From Kangaroo to Kermit. The lineage of the pterosaurs has been a mysterious one since their discovery hundreds of years ago. These fascinating flyers soared through the Mesozoic skies with impunity for millions of years, diversifying and dominating the skies and sea and, on occasion, even the land during the age of dinosaurs, until meeting their end alongside their archosaurian relatives. But how did this come to be? Where did these intriguing animals come from? It's a question scientists have asked for years, but recently, we may have been provided more clues to help solve this mystery. Scleromoclus is the closest basal relative to pterosaurs in the fossil record, an unusual creature that looks like a lizard walking on stilts. However, a study published on February 12, 2020 may have unveiled an interesting method of locomotion resembling that of a hopping frog. The paper documenting the study revealed that the legs weren't situated for an upright bipedal posture that was originally thought, and instead was better situated for squatting. While this gave it a posture more similar to that of a belly dragging reptile, the long hind legs and squatting posture allowed this animal to produce a frog-like hop across the ground. What's fascinating about this study is that this new change in locomotion provides more details regarding the evolution of flight that would lead to pterosaurs, with these leaps eventually leading to adaptations for proper takeoffs and eventually flight. Hopefully with more insight into Scleromoclus and its relatives, 
we may uncover the secrets of how the ancestors of pterosaurs took to the air. Thanks for watching Paleo Rewind 2020. Stay tuned for the March segment of Paleo Rewind, in which the discoveries of March will be covered by North O2. As always, have a random day, and happy holidays.